fought through it. So about three weeks ago, I found this sort of ironic. Documents that were taken in the Osama bin Laden raid, in the raid that killed Osama bin Laden with our friend Rob O'Neill, they finally declassified them. And in there, there were paperwork from Osama bin Laden saying that he wanted to assassinate President Obama because it would put Joe Biden in charge, and essentially he's so grossly incompetent it would lead to the destruction of America. What does it say to you that basically the Democrat nominee for President of the United States got the posthumous Osama bin Laden endorsement, that this guy is the guy that they put forth? It says to me I didn't know that, and it says to me we're going to immediately make a commercial out of that if that's true. <laughs> is that true? It, it's true. I, I, I saw this. I was watching. I had Rob O'Neill on this very podcast because he's the guy. By the way, say no more. It's a great commercial. Well, you're welcome. Because it happens to be true. Okay? We speak the truth. Well, then that's your Father's Day present. Congratulations. Under President Trump, America has become safer and stronger with endorsements from countless veterans and first responders. Joe Biden received endorsement by Osama bin Laden after our brave warriors took him out, which Joe Biden was against doing. What the reporting was accurate when I said I didn't say go, and I didn't. Bin Laden wrote his plan to attack Obama to make Joe Biden president, thinking that would be enough of a U.S. disaster in and of itself, expressing Biden is totally unprepared for that post, which will lead the U.S. into crisis. Joe Biden, China's candidate, Iran's candidate, and Osama's candidate. We need a president who terrorists and tyrants fear. I'm fighting for you and I love doing it with everything that I have. And you know that. I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. That was a good present. So.